We present an emotion-aware motion model to generate audio-driven emotional talking faces from a single image. Our method first renders neutral talking faces with lip motion synchronized with the input audio. Then manipulate the facial expression by extracting emotion from an external source video. Our method can generate talking faces with different emotions, head poses, and smooth emotion transitions. The basis of our work is that self-learned first-order motion representations are capable of modeling local flow fields on faces, which is suitable for manipulating emotion deformations. All we have to do is to transfer the local emotional deformations to an audio-driven talking face with self-learned key points and local affine transformations. Specifically, we firstly achieve neutral talking face generation from a single image through an audio 2 facial dynamics module. It maps audio representations and extracted poses to unsupervised key points and their first order dynamics. An additional flow estimator and a generator then cope with the representations for image reconstruction. To further extract the dynamic emotion from the emotional video, we perform empirical explorations for the motion model's intrinsic working mechanisms and find two interesting properties. Firstly, the dynamic movements in the facial region are only affected by specific key points and affine transformations. We denote them as face-related representations. Secondly, the relative displacements of the face-related representations are generally linear additive. We first calculate the displacements of the representations between an emotional video and its neutral results generated from the A2FD module, which is assumed to include emotion information. By adding the displacements onto the motion representations of an arbitrary person, we observe that the motion dynamics can be successfully transferred. However, the face-related displacements also contain undesirable mouth movements and structural deformation, making them not directly applicable to our current model. So, we design an implicit emotion displacement learner to learn only emotion-related displacements on the audio 2 facial dynamics module's face-related representations. Specifically, we design an effective data augmentation strategy on emotion sources to alleviate the influence of undesired factors. Then we extract the emotion feature from the processed video frames and take it together with the motion representations generated from the audio 2 facial dynamics module to the displacement predictor to produce the emotion displacements. By linearly combining all motion representations from the two modules, our model complementarily covers both the mouth shapes and emotional dynamics. We show more results of our method. All the testing audios and images are unseen during training. Slot time for that, and we were 16 then, so I think we're all probably excited that we've moved on and doing our own things, but I, I absolutely loved being a cheetah girl, definitely one of he was sort of insecure and whatever, and that's the character, you know, he's kind of a geeky guy, the, the, the every guy versus sort of Clark's, you know, superhero. So that's kind of what it was, but I think a lot of people are like, oh, he's kind of annoying, but um, uh, where else are... We also show results on paintings. This is the clothes, and all I said was look in the drawers where maybe they were put, but not by me. Oh, I, yeah, I, don't, I don't have her number anymore. We... We make comparisons with other state-of-the-art methods that generate one-shot audio-driven talking faces. Our method can generate vivid emotional animation with natural head movements and accurate mouth shapes, while other methods cannot generate obvious emotional dynamics. Initially asked to leave um, because I wanted to pursue more comedic acting. I, you know, I never really wanted to be a sketch comedian. We have to understand the connectivity. All of us in the international community also pay the price uh, for not solving this problem. Uh, you know, sort of acting muscle, so I'd love to be able to do both. Tough, tough to do both, but uh, I'd love to try and do both. We conduct ablation studies to demonstrate the effectiveness of our architecture. We first design experiments to evaluate our motion model design. 
Here are the results using only audio to facial dynamics module and feature-based motion model by representing emotion dynamics at the feature space. Note that the variant feature-based is designed to explore whether the emotion pattern can be represented as a feature instead of the displacement manner. Yeah. Well, we also figured after the Avengers and all these kind of super epic things happen, we thought Tony should be a little freaked out by that. And it can be observed that the face shape produced by the feature-based model is unstable and the emotion is not obvious either, which indicates that emotion cannot be well disentangled at the feature space. We then verify the components in our implicit emotion displacement learner. It is just different than any other social media platform. Um, I don't really see it as even social media. All three components are effective designs for emotion generation. Among the three components, the data augmentation strategy is especially critical for our model, as it contributes to transferring accurate emotional dynamics without sacrificing the identity. Our method have various applications like text to video generation. We can first generate a synthetic audio using the text to speech technique and then use this audio to drive the given face image. Our work is also able to manipulate the emotion. By representing emotion in the source video as a high dimensional feature, we construct a continuous emotion latent space where features of the same type are clustered. Thus we can manipulate the emotion by interpolating between the features from different emotion categories. Uh, listen, I will be more ready than I was in 2012 because I will have done my job for longer and hopefully gotten better. Despite the success of our approach, we also recognize some limitations. The emotion dynamics generated in the mouth region are not obvious in our work due to the mouth occlusion operation in our data augmentation strategy. Uh, listen, I will be more ready than I was in 2012 because I will have done my job for longer and hopefully gotten better. Moreover, since emotion is a personalized factor, the emotion pattern extracted from a character sometimes seems to be unnatural after being transferred to another one. These will be part of our future work. Thanks for watching.